What is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be proving to you that AI content can rank number one on Google. So this is a business in which I've been working with. And as you can see for this specific keyword, normal down payment on a house, it is has a keyword difficulty of 32. The volume is okay. Um, we are ranking number one for this position. And not just only that, if I go ahead and copy over that keyword, head back over to Google, as you can see here, we also won the snippet. So not only are we number one, we got the zero position, which actually allows us to win the snippet and be number one for this specific keyword over some pretty um, big websites. But that's mostly because we wrote on a very, very specific topic for that niche. So AI content definitely ranks. You can rank uh, number one on Google and even win the snippet using AI. So this is the article in which I wrote. And as you can see, the article was written on March 12th. So this is another example that you need to have patience when you're creating content online, especially when you're creating content using AI. So you need to have patience. It doesn't go into, or it's not going to happen overnight. You need to give things a little bit of time, but as you can see here, you definitely can get some wins. So this is just one example. As you can see here, this website, we've increased it in terms of it Key, uh, in terms of its keyword count to over 338 plus keywords. So when we first started working with this business, they didn't really have an online presence. Um, they did have a decent DR, so that definitely helped. And they weren't really getting much traffic. Now they're getting a lot more traffic and they're ranking for a lot more keywords. So I think the way in which you can go about replicating this or ranking for um, topics using AI is what we first did here is that this is a website within the mortgage industry in Toronto. So we would type up mortgages, Toronto. You wanna first try to find the best or the uh, biggest websites within your niche. So once you find those biggest websites, and you can do so by searching up the keyword or the main keyword that someone may search up for your specific niche. So once you search up that keyword, or sorry, or that business, um, you wanna make sure that they have a lot of keywords which they're ranking for. And then it's just about going ahead and doing some keyword research. So because there's over 166,000 keywords, obviously that's gonna be way too much to go through manually. You can set your, um, your volume to let's say, we want keywords over 500 and we want keyword difficulties from zero to 14, right? And click show results. So now you have a host of keywords in which you can go through and you can find keywords that are low competitive keywords that are um, not doing so well. But what I would say is, is the best indicator as to whether or not you will rank for a keyword is if you can search up that, let's say, for example, we find a keyword like this and we go on to Google and we search up that keyword and we find that most websites aren't actually writing about that topic. So in this example, all of these websites are writing about this topic and these are very, very high quality uh, websites. It would be very hard for us to outrank any of these sites. But in the example that I showed you guys um, for the client in which we were able to rank, as you can see here, normal down payment on a house. So this is about the average down payment on a house in Toronto. The other um, articles here, some of them don't really write specifically about that topic. Yes, they write about the average down payment, um, but I guess it's just a variation of that specific keyword. So you want to try to find if, for example, a, a, a keyword is out there, but people aren't really writing specifically on that topic, then you have an advantage. I'll show you guys another example. Let me head back over to Ahrefs and I'll show you another website that is ranking for a keyword. Let's see here. So for example, this website, Test Prep Bot, is ranking number two now for this keyword, famous LSAT, famous lawyers with LSAT scores. So if I actually go onto Google, right, it's ranking number two, Reddit is number one. But the reason why it's ranking is because there's not a lot of websites that are actually creating um, an article about this specific topic, which is rising above the odds, famous lawyers with low LSAT scores. So there's not a lot of, see, as you can see here, 12 easiest law schools, the LSAT and, and its lack of relevance, famous lawyers. Now we see a couple of websites here, um, but we don't really get to see 
like there's a lot of websites that write specifically on that topic so if you find a topic that's low competition or even if it's you know a decent competition but there's not a lot of um really high quality blog posts that really address that question then that's a that's a gap in which you can fill because Google always wants to satisfy the search intent. So if there's no websites that satisfy the search intent, no matter how big or small they are, if you come and you are writing a website on, on a topic that satisfies that search um, intent, then the likeness of you ranking is going to be much, much higher. So the way that I wrote both of these articles was I used either Claude or I used um, GPT 4.0 on the playground mode. I have a lot of tutorials on how to do so. You can download my prompts. These are the prompts that I always use. So my SEO prompts of January 2024. And you simply follow this by prompting the system and then you generate your title. Um, your outline and then the full article and you can expand it and that is the prompt that i've been using over and over and it's giving me pretty good results so if you want to use this prompt i will leave a link for it in the description below today's video so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video this little rundown of how you can actually rank ai content if you did let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and i will see you in the next video take care